Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro 2 Gateway to Natasa. No, it's called Ripto's Rage. I don't know why, because it sounds like, you know, a revenge story or whatever, but Ripto wasn't in the first game. <sighs> like, like, it's like calling it Ripto Strikes Back, even though he never existed until now. Anyway, um, so we're in uh, the Winter Tundra? Yes, Winter Tundra world. Last time we grabbed everything in the main homeworld, and then we went through Robotica Farms. So this time, we're going to the Cloud Temples. Don't know what to expect, apart from the fact that it's Cloud Temples, so let's head on in. <laughs> yep, Cloud Temples. Are they temples, like, made of clouds, or temples for clouds? Or temples for worshipping clouds? There's a lot of different things that cloud, that cloud temples could be. Are they the foreheads of clouds? Because that's another thing that temple can mean. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll see when we get there. Um, okay. Are like dueling wizards or something? I'm not sure if that guy's supposed to be the good wizard or the bad one. Because I mean, he was the one turning creatures not into stone, which seems like a good thing, but he's also attacking me, so maybe he's the bad one? Until that big warlock over there stole my wand. He and his friends have used the magic within to take over the city. Okay. Good for them. I don't really see a problem with this, gonna be honest. Seems fine. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, I have to do it and then the wizard will fix it for me. Thank you, wizard. Oh, those guys are enemies. Okay. I don't really know why they're enemies. They seem pretty just neutral animals, but I guess they're enemies? I don't know. Okay, those guys can breathe fire. Now I know. Well, I can also breathe fire due to being a dragon. <laughs> I wonder if there's any reason to get more gems. I think I've bought everything in the game that you spend gems on. I guess just completeness. I'm not very good at dodging these guys. Okay, up this way. Yeah, I'm completely unfamiliar with this part of the game. I think I've mentioned already that I'd only really played the first world of this game before, so everything is new to me. Which is... it can be exciting, but also scary. I haven't seen anything you can heal with in this, in this uh, level. Yeah, they're not called kingdoms in this game. <laughs> Thanks, wizard. Oh, what the heck? That wizard just got me, got me like, hurt real bad. Heckin' wizards. <laughs> At least there was an extra life right there that restores your sparks, so I don't have to, like, die or anything. Still annoying, though. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. I feel like the levels in this game are a bit more linear than the ones in Spyro 1. Like, they usually were pretty linear in Spyro 1, but it feels more so in this game. Sheep! 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 Sorry sheep, I needed the butterfly. I don't know how much range I have on these. Yeah, that'll reach. Alright. 
It's gonna respawn, or... Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's head over there. Doesn't matter. Oh my god, stop interrupting me with your cutscenes. This is really annoying. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wonder how many guys I need for the power-up. 21? Alright. Looks like it might be like a free-flying power-up or something. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. In my experience, uh... The orb quests aren't usually very fun, so... Fingers crossed this one's different. So if they can break out by themselves, why do they need help from the Warlocks? Like, they don't seem to be getting any magic, they're just bursting out when I get near them. Hmm. Confusing. Spyro, you have freed our city from the claws of those evil Warlocks. Are they so evil? I foresee that it will help you on your journey. I mean, they attacked me, but... You know, I I killed them all, and they didn't successfully kill me. I, <sighs> I'm not I'm not sure who's in the right here. It's just a little questionable, I think. Anyway, uh, we've done the main quest, I guess. They don't give you a, a relic or whatever it was called. Artifact. I think they're called artifacts. Talismans. I completely forgot what it was. Okay, um, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff to do. If you look at the completeness, 38%, most of the stuff in this, uh, level seems to be optional. So I guess that's good. It is, it is focusing on the, you know, collectathon aspect of this game compared to something like, um, Crash Bandicoot, for example. Only members of my secret club are allowed to go there. I'm not leaving um, right behind that tree so you can't see me. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? Do I need to is this like a stealth mission? Given to you by the guy you're following? This makes no sense. <laughs> oh, he saw me? Well, I don't know what your line of sight is. This isn't Metal Gear Solid. Okay, I think I know where it is. It's behind those doors. Are they really doing this? This is not a good mission. These orb quests are bad. <laughs> They're just that's not good. Oh my goodness. How did he not see me just then? This is very silly. What? You managed to get here without following me? You must be a member of my secret club after all. He oh my god. A secret decoder. It will allow us to send secret messages. Okay. That's an orb. Thanks, agent. This is so weird. <laughs> well, I got it. I guess that's good. Is 
just want to make sure I didn't miss any gems on the way here. I think all the doors are just going to stay open though. Now that I've done the quest. How are we doing? Mm, we're getting there. A bit past halfway. Okay, so that's that done. Um, I still don't know how to open this. I'm guessing there's like a super, super charge or super flame power up around somewhere. Wait, they turned the sheep to stone too? The sheep aren't even villains. Why are they being turned to stone? These wizards are not what they seem. I mean, they seem really suspicious, so they are what they seem. Which is really suspicious, but... You know what I mean. <sighs> What's going on over here? Wait, ice? Is there an ice power up in this game? Don't be ableist. This super freeze power up will chill out the trolls, but we really need the bells to ring. They'll ring if you charge into them. All right, I guess I can do that. Do I have to have them all ringing at the same time? Oh, I see what we're doing here. Yeah, you freeze them, then you can jump up here. Grab some more gems. Hit the other super freeze power up. That's not high enough, is it? Nope, not high enough. There's not really any time limit. Like, the pseudo time limit is pretty pointless. Since you can just hit the thing again if it runs out. Kind of reminds me of Bug Fables. <laughs> the similar sorts of puzzles work better in Bug Fables, though. There we go. Now I freeze you, then I can charge into the bell. There we go. Do I have to all be ringing at the same time? Because if so, I'm gonna hate that. Can I get up there? No. What am I supposed to do on that side? Oh, hello, there's a guy there now. Wasn't there before, but now there's a guy there. That's too high. It is not actually fun having to control the height of the platforms like this. That's way too high. <sighs> I just don't have to do all the bells at once, because it hasn't undone the first one after all this time. That would just be terrible. Are you gonna break? Ah, <sighs> seriously? I can't predict the timing at all. This is so obnoxious. I keep saying about orb quests in this game that they're bad and not good. Yeah. I suppose you want an orb for doing that. Well, I'm afraid not. There's still one bell left. You can get to it by using the whirlwind behind me. What whirlwind? Oh, okay. It was hidden by the power up. Okay. Okay, whatever. Could have given me an orb for doing all that, but you didn't. Jerk. There we go. Get over here, jerk. 
That's too high. Break. 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 Can I charge them or something? Okay, yeah, I can charge them. Annoying. There we go. Spyro, I didn't think you could do it. Here, Jack. have a souvenir from the Cloud Temple's gift shop. Is it just an orb? Wow, boring. Thanks. Okay, um, let's just make sure there wasn't any other treasure up there that I missed. Uh, I think there's something up there. Might need to be able to reach. Let's see. Where was the other guy? Go faster. <sighs> It's too tall, isn't it? Okay. Okay, I need to light that with fire, so I can wait for the ice to run out. And then that'll break that pl pl block down there that I wanted to break. Okay. Not block, that other thing. You know the one. There we go. Okay. How are we doing treasure-wise? Okay, there's just a little bit left. Uh, and I've done all the orbs, apparently. Hmm, this general direction. Oh. Okay. That wasn't so bad. I mean, I complained a lot, you may have noticed, but eh, it was okay. Mm. I'm not sure the level design quite holds up the way it did in Spyro 1, but eh, it's, it's an alright game. With some exceptions. Um... Yeah, these wizards are evil. What the hell? <laughs> like, they're saying that they're the good guys and the warlocks are evil, but I don't think that's true. I am convinced that the wizards are lying to us. And I don't trust them one bit. Anyway, uh, so that was Cloud Temples. Uh, but we got three orbs and another 400 treasure there. I don't know if we need any of the treasure. I think you need every orb to get the good ending or something. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what they do. Anyway, we're done there. Um, as you can see, Cloud Temple's 100%, Robotic Farm's 100%. Next time, we're gonna go somewhere else. Uh, let me just have a quick look around.
Goes to Robotica Farms. We already went there. Somewhere over here, I think? Yeah, Metropolis. Next time we go to Metropolis. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!